Well, hello again. Um, we're here for, I think this is our COVID couch concert number nine. Um, you'll see I'm also moved back inside. Um, had a little bit of rain lately, so I thought I'd come back in. Framed by this great James Perry um, painting. Um, I've also, to just shake things up a little bit, moved away from the Coors Light, because uh, we don't want to get in a rut. Also, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, this is a song I wrote last week, and it is, <clears throat> it's really my first attempt to ever do a protest song, which is why I'm wearing a tie-dye shirt. Um, I've never done a protest song before, never written one. Um, this one was triggered by a couple things. Uh, first, last week I was watching some TV and I did watch an old rerun of the Woodstock documentary and there's a great scene with Richie Havens singing Freedom, whole crowd raring to go. And it got me thinking that, you know, that Woodstock generation, that early baby boomer generation was so full of energy to express themselves, to have freedom, to not take it from the man, to speak truth to power, to protest against what they saw being um, an unjust war, especially one that was really killing a lot of young Americans, you know, while the older generation sent them off to Vietnam. And it got me thinking about today, um, and frankly, I got a little bit disappointed um, when I think about how this, our generation, you know, evolved, and now we are the establishment. We are the man. Um, we are big brother. And how so many in our generation are so quick in this time of pandemic to be willing to throw away civil rights, to be willing to throw away constitutional rights, um, all in the, I guess, interest of government protecting us. And, you know, a little bit of age divide as those of us get into our 60s and 70s and are more um, susceptible to this disease, willing to throw away some of the lives and careers of younger folk who maybe are healthy, but we want them to potentially go into poverty so that we can be safe, or at least feel safe. Um, that's a political disagreement, I guess, or a policy disagreement, but what, what really irks me is when I see some of these same people denouncing the rights of others to protest against what they rightly or wrongly think are unjust government infringements on their rights. This is a generation that protested in Berkeley and protested in Ann Arbor, you know, really doesn't want to see anybody protest against current government policy, and I find that disturbing. Um, the second trigger for this song, uh, there's a man uh, of Indonesian descent, he's actually an immigrant to the U.S., legal immigrant to the U.S., American citizen who works at an establishment where I've been going for a couple decades. And he's a man of pride. He wears, always did, wear a suit, sharp depressed shirt, tie, big smile, loved to provide service to his customers, and been out of work for a couple months. And recently I saw him doing curbside deliveries, again in his sharply dressed suit, a bow tie, um, mask, and a glove. Um, I could see the pride in how he was presenting himself as he does curbside. I couldn't see his smile because he was wearing a mask, but in his eyes I could see some fear um, that what he's worked for all of his life could be destroyed through this whole thing. And it really made me sad. I, I mean, I got about you know, a block and a half drive away in my car when I just had to pull over and cry. So um, I wrote this song, you know, Sure, some people are going to disagree with it, but I guess that's the purpose of protest songs. Really not to make everybody feel comfortable, to present a point of view, and hopefully start a conversation. 
Anyway, this one's called Bow Tie and Mask, and it goes a bit like this. By the way, I haven't done this a lot, so it may not be real slick as far as presentation, but we'll do it anyway. See the man in a bow tie mask Ask himself, how long can this last? Watches his dreams go out with the trash And clinging to hope that this soon shall pass Clinging to hope that this soon shall pass The Bible tells us of plagues and disease I'm not a racist to say it's Chinese The talking heads said trust in me And give up your rights cause data sets you free Give up your rights cause data sets you free Who feeds the children all sheltered in place Dad takes his own life, a life he can't face Social control is winning the race. Just fill out this form, your contacts will trace. Just fill out this form, your contacts will trace. Hide in your home and don't go out. The morning news tells you what's a lie. Just hunker down longer and don't give up now for the sake of all mankind. Don't form a crowd. Don't form a crowd. Where is the law of those letters in black That gives the power to political hacks Just 18 more months, the cure is on track and They took our freedom, and we want it back They took our freedom, and we want it back We want our freedom, we're taking it back Anyway, um, it's my attempt at a protest song. You can agree with it or not agree with it. Still love you all. Be safe. Um, and hope we can all get back to work. Take care. Bye-bye.